Yeah. Manifestation is cool, but manifestation without hard work is just words. And it's not gonna actually do anything for the progression of your life and career. If you wanna actually follow your dreams. If you wanna follow your dreams, you have to do way more than manifest every day. If you're not doing something that's working towards you actually getting to that bigger goal that you're trying to reach, then you fail. Full of dark thoughts, heart is full of blood clots. One hole, two hole, three when I'm gonna learn not. I'm a strike call, street fighter, now my thumb's hot. X back in the air, making my lungs rot. Oh. Back in like a crack at it with a bad habit, we here at the Vleezy and doing another mukbang, some lunch mukbang, some Popeyes. Make sure you get the lighting right. Okay, these are new nuggets. Uh, quote unquote, new nuggets. I went to a Popeyes, bro. They had nothing, bro. When I say they had a list of stuff they didn't have, I'm talking about sauces, I'm talking about food, I'm talking about all types of stuff. So, don't judge me, guys. I'm about to use uh, grape jelly as my damn condiment, and I'm not playing. I eat a lot of weird stuff. Um, I like to just try things for the sake of trying it. But obviously, I'm more of a barbecue sauce type of guy. I would have dipped it in barbecue sauce and whatnot. But, I mean, hey, down go the hatch. I eat stuff like this all the time. It's like cold because I got a little while ago. But it's crazy, bro. They ain't have nothing. It's like a New York corner store. New York corner store never have anything that you want, you know? But... Today's mukbang topic I want to get into is how do you follow your dreams? Because there's often people telling you, you know, follow your dreams, follow your dreams, but they never tell you how. They just tell you follow your dreams. But most people are misinformed or uninformed on how to actually follow your dreams. So they'll probably never be able to follow their dreams because they'll know how you know but part of what i will say though is part of following your dreams is taking that the opportunity and taking that 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 um leap of faith and saying i'm gonna find out how to follow my dreams or i'm gonna put in the effort to actually trying to follow my dreams as opposed to just saying i'm gonna follow my dreams or manifesting now manifesting is cool right but there's a lot of people that live and die on the concept of manifesting. Where they wake up and say, oh yes, I posted one video today, I'm gonna manifest that it goes viral and I get rich. It just doesn't work like that. Manifestation is cool, but manifestation without hard work is just words. And it's not gonna actually do anything for the progression of your life and career. If you wanna actually follow your dreams. If you wanna follow your dreams, you have to do way more than manifest every day. If you're not doing something that's working towards you actually getting to that bigger goal that you're trying to reach, then you failed because all that manifestation wasn't going to work if you wasn't actually putting effort into what you're trying to have happen and what you're trying to accomplish, you know? So really step one to follow your dreams is actually put an effort to figure out how you're going to follow your dream. Like, like, yeah, you can just say, I right, follow your dreams and be like, I right, cool, I'm going to follow my dreams. Now what, right? So what is your dream? Because if you don't know what it is and you don't really have, have it shelled out, then you won't be able to follow anything. You won't know what to follow, right? So figure out what your dream is and then do research on other people in the same field of what you want to already do, right? Now, everyone's timeline is different, but you can pick up bits and pieces of what other people have done and make it into your timeline and do it your own way and establish your own growth pattern through what you've seen other people that you enjoy do. Now, what I do, I, I, I can't define it as one thing. I define it that everything I do is entertainment, right? I, I find myself to be an entertaining person. No matter what I do, either way, I'm entertaining you, whether I'm teaching you something, whether you're watching one of my videos, whether you're just listening to my podcast, whether you're watching a blog, either way, I'm entertaining you, you know what I'm saying? I'm making you laugh, and we're having a good, jolly old time, you know what I'm saying? But um, you have to figure out really what you're doing it for, right, and who has done it before you, right? Now, there's people that I've watched, such as like Jay Black, he's a, he's a, a battle rap commentator. Um, I've watched a lot of, a lot of academics, uh, uh, Joe Budden, um, uh, Childish Gambino, slash Donald Glover, Tyler the Creator, uh, uh, even Jay Cole, they all are really inspirations to me and, and really show me the light of, of how I can go about doing what it is I wanna do, which essentially is just making an impact and having a, a prominent voice 
for whatever it is that I feel that I want to have my voice be spoken upon. You know, I, I don't want to be the person that has to follow these trends. I want to be the person that that establishes like, nah, this is what's this is what we doing now. Like, I feel like everyone that I just talked about, they put their foot forward and said, nah, this is what we doing now. Like, y'all was doing it this way. I'm finna do it like this now, and y'all can't stop me. You know what I'm saying? From academics, even if a lot of people blame him for a lot of killings in, in Chicago or whatever, man, let's keep, let's keep it a hundred. Like, without if uh, if you don't if you're not aware who academics is, academics is a person who who uh, started a whole media platform prior to even doing what he uh, kind of like a docu series that he did on YouTube called War in Chirac. He was already, he already kind of had like a bubbling platform of posting about mainstream artists and upcoming artists and stuff like that. So. Um, but he made a media platform and really gained a lot of buzz by covering Chicago rappers who were basically just killing each other all the time, right? Now, I just, I'm gonna, this small anecdote, once again, I just wanna say, and, and I'm not him, so I don't necessarily care about what he got going on, not, not a lot, but uh, I will just say in a, in, a, in a general sense, if he wasn't gonna do it, then somebody was gonna do it. There's certain people in this world, like if he didn't come up with the idea, someone else would have came up with that idea with that idea and he he basically took the rap for all the people that come behind him and do what he did in a similar fashion but no one's really going to ever put all the blame on the next people that came after him they're going to put on the they're going to put it on the original person that i guess kind of birthed the copycats you know what i'm saying but even going down the line once again like joe budden uh he's on a whole like man i'm doing this for creators and and, and creator equity and and uh, maintaining ownership of what you got going on so that's the stamp that he put on and you know obviously if you follow donald glover and child Ch gambino with whatever um he, he he has done whatever he's wanted to do in his life same goes tyler the creator and jay black is a, is a battle rap commentator and he's been doing this for years like over a decade and he's he's literally built a platform on just commenting about battle rap and he created a whole bunch of copycats it's like i really want to start the trends you know what i'm saying but outside of myself which you would you and what you want to do follow the people that have done what you want to do or in the space or if you just like people's mindsets like study people you know what i'm saying like i watch a lot of interviews like a ton of interviews daily you know so i study people a lot and you know study people study people's mannerisms and and this alert is already a blueprint there's literally for anything you want to do there's literally probably a blueprint already for it you just got to make it your own and you just got to take that blueprint and make it into something that you can you can form into your own structure and be able to benefit off of so yeah follow your dreams man figure out what your dream is and follow others that have actually put that time and effort into into following their dreams and they actually made it into into a fruition and, and made it into an actual real tangible thing so 100 percent, you know what i'm saying I'm get back eating these popeyes cold as hell i ain't gonna lie popeyes cold is disgusting i don't even like popeyes i was doing it for the, for the blow I really wanted to get a sandwich, not gonna lie. But I just got a sandwich the other day, you know? But I just wanna give you some videos. Tomorrow I took a trip. So there'll be way more videos on the way. But I don't wanna not put out videos for y'all until I until I go where I'm about to go. So I'm just giving you all some holdover videos, but you know, this is this is real life though. This is real life stuff. Like we especially right now in the era where a lot of people are realizing your job can buy you like that, which I've been saying, I've been saying this for years. What is the point of putting all your energy into a job where if they feel like they're paying you too much, they can just buy you like that and bring somebody else in for less money? They do that all the time. You're putting in tons of work, essentially becoming better at that job and better really in that company and acquiring skills and acquiring knowledge to where you probably know more than somebody else, but you're still working for somebody else. So at the end of the day, they're still benefiting way more off you than you are off them. But if you do stuff for yourself, then obviously you're gonna benefit way more than anyone else is. So I was always advocate for that, man. And I just wanna be an advocate for, start your own thing, man. Life and, and security is all attainable. You just have to say, y'all wanna do it. And you have to say, what is my five-year plan? That's another thing too. What is my five-year plan? I've been saying since I was 19, maybe 18. 25 is when it's gonna be lit for me. I'm not 25 yet. Um, I usually don't like to say my age, but I'm not 25, kids you know what I'm. But I've been saying since I was 18, 19, 
25. By the time I'm 25, I want to be rich. Like, I want to be swimming in money, right? But I've already started my growth journey at 18, 19. But I didn't expect to get it by 20. I didn't expect to get it by 21. But I knew that the more time goes on, the more my goal of being rich or being to the point where I feel like, yo, like I did some stuff by 25 is dwindling, right? So every day I'm like, yo, I got to keep going. I got to keep doing this. got to keep doing that. Because man, by 25, if I put in seven years of hard work, those results are going to clearly be there. You know, there's clearly going to be results. Like you put, if you continue to enhance and continue to improve every day and, and every year, by the time five, six years go by, you're going to be a whole different person that is clearly more advanced than you were. You can, I have a lot of my old videos up from, from 2018, 2019, possibly. Um, and man, I'm gonna keep them up because I wanna be able to look at my growth and be like, yo, I did that. Like I started from here and now I'm here. And you know, everything I do with the internet essentially is like a video journal that I can look back at and be like, wow, like I did this. And I, now I'm here and it, it gives me a, a grasp of, of the timeline and, and clearly things are going up. Because if you don't do things across a long period of time, that you won't be able to, you won't be able to see your growth. You won't be able to improve, and you won't be able to actually, actually do better for yourself because you don't know where you started and where you're at now. Hey man, I'm dropping these gems and these rings on you, eating some cold Popeyes. Don't get it messed up, man. You know, I did it for you. I eat cold Popeyes for a mukbang for you. you know what I'm but let me know in the comments down below what your dream is and what you're doing to follow it. And you don't know, keep having talks like this. So when you drop your comment now. You could look back at it later and you can see where you at later on. You'd be like, wow, this is where I this is where I was at when I when I wrote this comment. This is where I'm at now, you know. So let y'all wanna get a nice little mug bang out blow for y'all. Little cold Popeyes. Ooh. Mm -hmm. I know you see my hair. I know you like my hair. You wanna touch it? Touch it. Ooh, pimples. Ooh.